हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शोर मिश्रा वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल विजन केयर एडवाइजर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज कॉर्नियल लेसरेशन लेट्स नो वट इज कॉर्नियल लेसरेशन कॉर्नियल लेसरेशन मीन्स देर स कट ऑन द कॉर्निया फ्रॉम शार्प ऑब्जेक्ट फ्लाइंग एंड इंटरिंग द आई और अ सिग्निफिकेंट फोर्स स्ट्राइकिंग द आई सच एज मेटेलिक हैंड टूल अ कॉर्नियल लेसरेशन इज डीपर देन अ कॉर्नियल अब्रेजन एक्चुअली एन अब्रेजन इज मोर ऑफ अ स्क्रेच ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द कॉर्निया वाइल अ कॉर्नियल लेसरेशन कैन बी पार्शियल और फुल थिकनेस पार्शियल थिकनेस लेसरेशन डू नॉट पेनिट्रेट द इंटायर कॉर्निया while full thickness laceration extend completely through the cornea and may cause a ruptured globe that causes tearing both types of laceration are very serious injury which requires immediate medical attention to prevent potential vision loss and complications delaying treatment can increase the risk of further damage to the eye let's know the care of eye injury I would like to emphasize the importance of proper care in case of an injury occurred. If patient's eye has been injured, it is crucial to protect it by gently placing a shield over the eye. This shield can be made by cutting the bottom part of a paper cup and taping it around the eye area to provide protection until patient can get medical help. It is essential to not rinse the eye with water as this can potentially worsen the injury. Similarly, do not try to remove any object stuck in the eye as this can cause further damage. Avoid rubbing or applying pressure to the eye as this can also exacerbate the injury. Furthermore, do not give aspirin, ibuprofen or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs as these medications can thin the blood and increase the risk of bleeding after taking these initial protective measures it is important to see an ophthalmologist immediately for evaluation and appropriate treatment to prevent any complications friends let's know the symptoms patient can experience severe pain in the eye excessive tearing sensitivity to light which means photophobia blurred or decreased vision presence of blood in the eye or bleeding sensation of having something in the eye if anyone experience any of these symptoms it is important to seek immediate medical attention friends let's know the causes of corneal laceration Corneal laceration can be caused by activities where objects can fly and enter the eye at a high speed. The most common cause of corneal lacerations are such activities just like cutting wood, grinding metal, trimming grass, carving stone, contact with dust, dirt, sand or sharp edges like a piece of paper, etc. So friends wearing protective eye glasses or sunglasses can help to prevent most of the corneal laceration now let's know the diagnosis in diagnosing a corneal laceration the following careful examinations and tests are conducted firstly a detailed slit lamp examination is performed to rule out ocular penetration ensuring that the injury hasn't penetrated deeper into the eye the conjunctiva sclera and cornea are carefully evaluated especially looking for any extension beyond the limbus in cases involving the corneal periphery the depth of the anterior chamber is assessed a shallow anterior chamber may indicate an actively leaking wound or a self sealed leak while a deeper anterior chamber can suggest a posterior rupture if there is a presence of iris trans illumination defect and lens injury may indicate a penetrating injury a positive sedal test indicates the presence of a full thickness laceration confirming the severity of injury so friends these detailed examination can help the ophthalmologist in accurately diagnosing the corneal laceration and determining the appropriate treatment plan to manage the injury effectively now friends let's come to the part of the treatment So treatment for corneal laceration typically involves the following steps cycloplegic eye drops are used to dilate the pupil prevent ciliary spasm and reduce the pain 
while antibiotic eye drops or ointment are prescribed to prevent bacterial infection in the injured eye and promote healing of the corneal laceration. In cases where a moderate to deep corneal laceration is present with wound gap, suturing the wound in the operating room is often recommended. This helps to ensure proper wound closure and prevent excessive scarring and minimize corneal irregularities, especially in the visual axis, which could impact the vision. In cases of dirty wounds, a tetanus toxoid injection may be administered to prevent tetanus infection. So friends, these treatment steps is crucial in managing corneal laceration effectively, promoting healing and minimizing the potential complications. Regular follow up visits with an ophthalmologist are essential to monitor the healing progress and adjust the treatment plan accordingly. I hope this small video would be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more informative videos.